Okay, hi, we're here today with Bethany Flight from Envogue Nails. Hi, Bethany. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, so um, tell me a little bit about uh, Envogue Nails and uh, what your role is there. Yeah, so En Vogue is a BC based company. They're a manufacturer of gel nails. So they started as En Vogue, the gel company. Um, and I personally love the story. Arlene Trapp is the owner, the founder. Um, and she created it basically out of a need for a comparable product to acrylic because that was what was dominating the market. But there's, you know, the fumes and, and all that stuff people were having issues with. So she set out to make her own gel that was as strong but a little bit healthier. So that's kind of been the focus of the company from the beginning. Um, and I joined on with the company, I think three years ago now. Um, I was a nail tech myself and an educator and I did some marketing programs and they were looking for a social media manager. So I kind of got in there and I've been doing much more with them ever since. So now I'm their director of marketing. That's great. Um, so, I, I mean, I remember back in the day, I used to work in a salon and the nail tech, she had a, a full mask on over her face. I mean, the fumes were just horrible back then. So what, I guess technology has changed a lot in, in our industry? Yeah, so much. Um, I know at the time, this was 25 years ago, I guess, when she started the company, acrylic was kind of the thing. Gel hadn't really made its way. So it was very much a new innovation and the big, big thing was that it was kind of odorless, solvent free, all that, all that good stuff. So it made this thing that we all love doing and, you know, servicing people with it a lot healthier and safer for you and your client, basically, because walking into a salon that does only acrylic is it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so tell me a bit about uh, what's happening for spring for En Vogue. Uh, uh, what are the colors all about and what's the theme? We just launched actually last month our out of office collection. Um, so that was a four piece. We tapped very much into and we always try to tap into the trending colors like for runway interiors, all of that stuff kind of goes hand in hand. So we had a good peach, which is, of course, the color of the year, um, a good mint, a nice sort of I don't even know how to describe this one, like a cobalty corn flowery blue, like a pastel cobalt is what I've been calling it. Um, mm -hmm. And a soft sort of like muted purple mauve which is still having its moment so that was our out of office that was our big big one and we right. do have coming up on announced that we had a, a tortoise shell kit so a complete nail art kit for the tortoise shell design uh that was limited edition two years ago that's coming up at the end of may so oh, okay uh, what's the tortoise shell design tortoise shell like your glasses like a tortoise shell print oh yeah, yeah. So need, like very specific colors they have to be jelly the right sort of cognac-y color so we had a kit of four colors with the brush included and a tutorial on the back so that's like, great. Um, and uh, it's all about nail art, right? Is na nail art still a, a popular uh, service? Um, what do you What do you think? What do you think customers do like nail art or kind of just regular solid nails? I think it ebbs and flows. I would say like most trends. Um, like when I started doing nails, it was for nail art. It was kind of when like nail art was becoming the thing. So that's what pulled me into it. And it's certainly come and gone. There's certainly like the minimal clean girl aesthetic era is happening very much so. So clean, simple, short, but then you still have like on the opposite end of that, like 3D and chrome and loud. And I think it's, it's either or I think both. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's more like um, a personality thing, you know, it, it it's just like hair colors and cuts, right? Like it really comes down to the the person's personality. It does. And I think that it depends on kind of your nail tech too. Nail techs will attract kind of what they like to do. So somebody who is more simple and clean and loves that will have more of that clientele versus someone who's promoting art and, and that's their thing. That's what they'll pull in. So yeah, that's, that's very true. Um, so are you uh, a technician right now yourself? Like, are you, are you doing clients? I am not doing clients much to my friend's dismay. Um, <laughs> when I started with on Vogue, I, was still doing nails at the time, but then two years ago, um, I stopped, I moved to Toronto and, and I haven't done nails since. So I've just clean break, I'll do my own and I'll do content, but. Right, right. So you're more, you're more about the, the marketing side of things and like getting the word out. Yeah, I've slipped, slipped into that side of things now. I like to think I bring a little edge to the brand, but. <laughs> right. And so is there anything new and interesting in the, the nail world in terms of products and, and trends? What, like what, what, what's happening that, that hasn't been happening in the past? That is very interesting, actually. It's so tough because trends tend to like recycle themselves over and over. 
But I think, I mean, right now we're seeing a resurgence in chromes and different variations of that. There's some, you know, liquid chromes that haven't been around before. And the 3D thing is very much becoming a thing. So having products for shaping and not just like your traditional acrylic 3D shapes, but for, you know, more organic sort of blobs and, and shapes like that. Yes, for sure. I've been seeing a lot of these like really crazy shaped, uh, you know, uh, very built up uh, gel kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's just the kind of things that I'm seeing out there are just amazing. They're little mini works of art. That's what I always say about nails. Very much so. Mini works of art. Very much so. The saddest yeah. thing is they can't last forever. Like you want to just. They don't. <laughs> well, and this is why you should always document and take pictures of your little mini works of art. That's just it. That's just it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so right now, I, I mean, I'm just looking here online and looking at all the beautiful colors. Um, you know, I, I'm a massive fan of the neutrals. I, you know, you're kind of like that person that does the same thing all the time in terms of, you know, yeah. your style. I've always been a neutral kind of person. So 100%. Yeah. Um, I might venture into color on my toes in the summer. Like that's, yeah. that's kind of the extent of me being wild about it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lane for that client and there's a lane for, you know, the other. I can be more expressive with my nails. I don't mind wearing color but yeah. it's very specific. So I'll only do cool tones. I won't ever lean into pinks or softs or anything. So I'm adventurous, right. but also boring because I stay in my same lane, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking here at the uh, kits. Um, so these are all kinds of different kits in terms of like a starter kit or a gel mm -hmm. kit. So you really have a lot of options here for the, the nail artist to choose from. That's just it. Yeah. So as fun as like the color and the nail art is, still at the core of the brand and at the core of any good nail tag is the, the foundation. So we do have multiple different lines that support that for different needs. And then we just have the kids that make it super easy to just kind of pick up and get started. Yes. Yes. It's got everything you need here. And um, tell me a little more about your education. Yeah, we're super, super excited about that one. It's been a little bit of a long time in the making. Um, so we just launched on Vogue Pro, which is an on Vogue education virtual platform. So uh, we did have sort of virtual education that was born during the pandemic when everything had to be virtual. Um, but that was very one-on-one, -on -one, personalized, live over Zoom. Um, now we have this platform with fully on demand. Um, our courses that are on there right now are completely free. They are certificate courses for professionals only. You do have to be a nail tech to, to tag on to that. But we wanted to create something that was accessible to nail techs because they can have busy schedules and chaotic schedules. So any time that they want, and then also just to to give it to them, you know, regardless of their budget for education or whatever, we wanted to make sure that they had something that they could lean on to learn about the product or just learn new skills. That's great. Yeah, I'm looking here now. So there's um, several different um, build like a pro, sculpting techniques, uh, self-leveling success, mastering molding gel. Yeah. Seems to cover all the bases. We did kind of align it with these first courses to match with each of our core product lines. Um, so that way, if someone was curious about a new line or curious about the brand, they could kind of learn that from the experts, you know, from the brand who, who created it. So they know what they're doing. Um, but we also wanted to design it in a way that it wasn't just product focused. You're learning like, you know, how to use a builder in a bottle properly or how to get the most out of your gel polish. So you can, no matter what brand you're using, you're getting something out of it. Right. That's great. And it, and it's just education on demand. You just go there and, and sign up. And, and it's there. Yeah. How, how long are these courses? The ones that we have now, I mean, I think the longest one is seven minutes. So they're very short. They're very bite-sized. Um, and when you get into it, if you've done any sort of on-demand virtual education, they're broken into modules. So you can run through it all at once, or you can pause it and come back to it and, and take it at your own time. Right. And I love the fact that you give a certificate afterwards. Yeah. We love certificates. A little something for the wall to sort of like showcase what you've learned. Of course. Of course. Well, you know, in that, our so. industry, we, you were forever learning. We should always be upgrading our skills and then new products and tools and, you know, new techniques come out. So it's always great to uh, upskill and, and to keep on top of things. 100%. Yeah. So we've started it with those five and it, it will continue to grow. I'm super excited to see what can evolve on there. Great. And so where can we find, I mean, of course we can find it online. Uh, where can we find on Vogue uh, uh, online and on social media? Yeah. So on VogueNails.com is our website. Um, you can get the education there. We have a U.S. shopping site too, but um, on Vogue on socials is all at it's on Vogue 
We're at On Vogue Nails Official. That is where we are on all the socials. Official. Perfect. Great. Well, I appreciate our, our chat today and giving me the update on, on Vogue and uh, I'm loving the spring colors. You know, I know I'm a neutral person, but I'm ready to head into that like lavender lilac color. I, I'm ready to do that. <laughs> I just throw in a, a colorful neutral for those of you who like that lane. <laughs> That's my colorful neutral. Exactly. <laughs> nice pop of mauve. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much, Bethany. And, um, you know, I appreciate your time and uh, I look forward to seeing more from the Info brand. Thank you so much for having us. We're super excited for the opportunity to share. Great. Okay. Take care. Bye.